Hey everyone, Tony Junko here, here in Brookline, Massachusetts at CORE. I want to discuss briefly uh, some common mistakes that I see with the face pull. I think the, the cable face pull, whether you're using a cable or a band, is a great exercise to strengthen the posterior cuff, the upper back in general, uh, makes the shoulders a lot healthier, uh, and also kind of offsets a lot of uh, uh, compensations or over patterning we have with the, in, in terms of a lot of people benching. So uh, one minor thing that I like, and it's just inherently wrong, uh, it's just how I prefer to coach the movement, is I don't, I don't like people to use an overhand or a pronated grip on the face pull where they're doing it like so, because I just feel like the, it, it closes off that acromion space and locks people into internal rotation. It can, it can cause a little bit more shoulder irritation. So what I'd rather do is people hold it a little bit more of an externally rotated position where their, their thumb faces them. So instead of grabbing the cable or rope overhand grip, they're going to more or less hold it with a, with a neutral grip, so they're going to hold it with the knobs facing them. And then what they do is as they pull back, they're going to get a lot more external rotation and it opens up that acromion space a little bit more. It makes it a little bit more uh, healthier for the shoulders. It feels better for most people's shoulders. Um, the first one is not wrong. Uh, it's just the second variation uh, I, I prefer uh, to use in my clients and athletes. So I hope that's a tip that you guys will use, and I'll talk to you later.